Good morning, Bishop Ryan. Happy Tuesday. We're here at the desk. I'm Haley. I'm Rielle. And we're here with your morning announcements. Students who are writing a math contest tomorrow, please report to room 235 West by 8 a.m. Do not go to your period one class. Once again, math contestants, please report to room 235 West by 8 a.m. and do not go to your period one class. Attention all students looking for volunteer hours. The Farmers Dell Preschool is looking for about six to eight volunteers to assist them with their annual breakfast with Santa on Saturday, December 2nd. For more information, please see Mr. DeFelice in Student Services. I have an announcement on behalf of Student Council, so if you're going to prom, please listen up. Prom is officially coming up in less than three weeks. As you all know, our theme is th this year is Tale as Old as Time, and it incorporates parts from all the main Disney movies we all know and love. Once you walk into Carmen's, you will be transported to the fabulous world of Disney. So we invite you to be our guest at Carmen's on December 7th from 5.30 to 10 p.m. Tickets are on sale right now on School Cash Online. They are limited, so make sure to purchase your ticket ASAP. They are $50 each. If you purchase a ticket for another student under your account, you must see Mr. McKenzie in Workroom 4 in order to confirm the ticket exchange. As, as well, guest tickets are officially sold out. A full guest list will be posted outside of Workroom 4, so make sure if you indeed purchased a guest ticket to check and make sure your information in regards to your guest is correct. If you have yet to pay the $55 for your guest, please make sure to see Mr. McKenzie with it as soon as possible. This is very important. Table seating forms are available in a folder taped to the main office window. There will also be a completed folder taped to the window as well. Just a friendly reminder that you only need to fill out one form per table, so make sure to check in with those you are planning on sitting with before filling out a form. If you do not fill out a form or forget to hand one in, you will be placed at a random table. Again, you will be placed at a random table. So make sure to get those forms in as soon as possible. They are due this Friday and no later. If you attempted to hand in a form later than Friday, November the 24th, your table form will be denied. If you have any requests from the DJ for prom, feel free to DM the Student Council account on Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat at Bishop underscore Ryan SC for your song requests. Anyone interested in after-school tutoring, it is available today from 3 to 4.30 in room 20, 223 West. Thanks for Mr. Ranero. Just a quick reminder for everyone going to the Habitat for Humanity trip, please meet outside the CAF at 8.30. That's all from the desk, and stay tuned for more WRBR news. Hey BR, I'm Madison here for Drama Council Corner and I'm here with Christian. I am a part of the cast of Mirrors, the second of three one-act plays in Three Times the Magic and Christian is the tech manager. So Christian, can you, can you tell us anything about Mirrors? I can't really tell you anything about the plot. There won't be any spoilers from me, but I can tell you my experience working on the play though. The, r the rest of the cast and crew and I have worked very hard to make this play success despite all of the challenges. We are very proud of the final product and I hope you will enjoy it as much as we do. Thank you, Christian. And, ju and just a reminder to everyone that tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, Three Times the Magic will be open to the public. The show starts at seven o'clock p.m. and tickets are $10 at the door. We hope to see you there. And now stay tuned for more WRBR. Thank you. 
Hey, BR, and good morning. Uh, Mr. Pilon here with some musical announcements. First of all, though, just to echo those words, make sure you go and see that play and support all of the arts at Bishop Bryan. Those actors and actresses, uh, crew and staff have been working really hard to pull that off, so make sure you get there this week and support them. Today is Tuesday, November the 21st, and so uh, we are going to see the groove after school for a full rehearsal. Reminder that tomorrow's rehearsal for the expression on Wednesday is for soloists and potential soloists only, and it is in the music room we're going to stay off the stage because of course of the play so tomorrow's rehearsal for the expression on wednesday is for soloists and potential soloists only in the music room so not necessarily a full rehearsal uh, if you don't have uh, solo aspirations for uh, this year then uh, you are not needed this week and we'll see you again next week Thursday, Mr. Pickley wants to see the full drum line. Uh, there is a bus that has been approved for the drum line for the buyout for the, uh, sorry, not for the buyout, but for the championship game for the juniors. Uh, drum line is going to bring the thunder, bring the noise to the championship game. So Mr. Pickley wants to see the drum line on Thursday. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful Thursday. And now back to WR. By Thursday, I mean Tuesday. I don't know where that came from. Have a wonderful Tuesday. Have a good Thursday when we get there too. But in that case, in any case, have a good Tuesday. And uh, now back to WRBR. Good morning, BR. You're back with Kirsten for your sports announcements. So first of all, practice for junior girls are Mondays at 2.40 p.m., Wednesdays and Fridays at 4.10 p.m. Thank you, Ms. Ferrandez. Also, the bio. It's the championship week again at, at BR. On Friday, there will be a junior boys football bio at Newman. We will be selling tickets today through Thursday. Tickets will be sold for $5, and it only includes a one-way bus trip. The football game is at 1.30 p.m. Everyone that buys a ticket will get, out dismissed, will get dismissed at 12.45. So if you want to get out of class, buy a buyout ticket. Stay tuned for more WRBR news. Good morning, Bishop Ryan. I am here with Mr. McKenzie, with members of our student council. I have Ella Ray, I have Natalia and Olivia here. And uh, we want to say a few words uh, about one of our uh, special staff members. Um, we are giving tribute to Mr. Dave Tabone today. Uh, Mr. Tabone will be recognized uh, this evening at the Cathedral of Christ the King for a distinguished service to Catholic education. Mr. Tabone has accomplished much in his career and uh, this is quite a, a huge um, a huge award and a huge recognition of his talents and his passion in education. So here, here he is somewhat reluctantly but uh, <laughs> there he goes. How are you, sir? I don't know. I was buying equipment for the school and I got <laughs> stuck on the link. I know. So we have a few words to share. And oh, here's Christian as well. Christian also. Natalia's going to say a few words. And uh, Natalia, go ahead. So as a council, we would like to congratulate Mr. Tabone on his award for Distinguished Service to Catholic Education. This award is presented to those who have contributed to Catholic education in a very significant and special way. It is deemed one of the highest honors within our board, and we would like to show our sincerest appreciation to Mr. Tavone for all he has done for here at Bishop Ryan, for all of us on council, as well for the student body, both past and present. Throughout his years here at Bishop Ryan, Mr. Tavone has demonstrated what it means to be dedicated to Catholic education by helping us as students grow and discover new interests through music. With his enthusiasm and courageousness, Mr. Tavone has had a significant impact on shaping many of his students to the people they are today. So as a token of our gratitude, we would like to give him this bouquet of flowers to show that we all value the time in which he has dedicated to our Catholic education, as well as the countless hours he has spent encouraging all of us and bringing out the talent that we have within. Thank you, sir, so much. Congratulations you. on your award, sir. And I'm not dressed up today, sir, because I, I'm working a lot on the theater, but uh, tonight I'll have a suit on. Thanks so much. I hope so. Thanks for everybody. Thanks so much. It's because of Christian. I'm getting new chairs. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Okay. Thank you Thanks so much. Tomorrow. Thank you. All right. And that's all we have for right now. Stay tuned for more WRBR news.
we're back to the desk. I'm joined with Ivona, and she has something to tell you guys. So I'm gonna let her take it away. Hey, BR, it's Ivona from Audacity. I just want to remind you all that our Eat, Sleep, Breathe Dance Showcase is on December 5th. You can buy tickets from myself or any other member of Audacity, and they're $10 each. The team has been working tirelessly to make the night so much more enjoyable for everyone. There will be refreshments and wonderful performances by all our dancers. Hope to see you there. Thanks, VR. Now off to more news. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Ivona. Um, just a friendly reminder that everyone attending the Habitat for Humanity trip, please meet in the CAF for 8.30. You don't want to be late. Miss your bus. Thanks for Miss Citrino and Mr. Vitali. Thank you so much for joining us today, BR. Have a wonderful Tuesday.